Hello everyone, in today's topic, we are going to talk about units of volume. So if we are talking of volume, we are going to talk about three-dimensional figures. So what are three-dimensional figures? They are solid shapes, have length, width, and height. Examples of this one, we have cubes, cones, cylinders, pyramids, and prisms. So 3D is the short for, is short for three-dimensional. So what is volume? Volume is the amount of every solid shape takes up. So it is expressed in cubic units or to the power of 3. Capacity is the other term for volume. It is the amount of 3D space something can hold or contain. So suppose we have this rectangular block. Instead of us counting the number of cubes, we shall multiply the dimension. So we have 3 by 4 by 2. So solving for the volume, it is equal to 3 times 4 times 2, which is equal to 24. And the unit for the volume is cubic units. Or if we want to count how many cubes there are, so there are 24 cubes. So we have different metric system for volume. We also have the British system for volume, and we also have the metric system for weight. So we will use this equivalence later on. So let us express each quantity in terms of unit given in brackets. We are going to convert 5 cubic meters to cubic centimeters. So we all know that 1 cubic meter equals 1 million cubic centimeters. From here, we are going to convert. So 5 cubic meters times 1 million cubic centimeters over 1 cubic meter. So we can cancel cubic meter and then we just multiply 1 million times 5 which is equal to 5 million. So the answer is 5 cubic meters equals 5 million cubic centimeters. Now let us have 450 liters to be converted to cubic meters. So we all know that 1000 liters equals 1 cubic meter. So from here, we shall multiply 450 liters times 1 cubic meter over 1000 liter. So take note, always write the given unit in the denominator so that you can cancel later on. So from here, we shall divide 450 divided by 1000. It is equal to 0 0.45 cubic meters. Now let us have the other one. So we are going to convert 20 ounces to cubic centimeters. From here, we all know that 1 ounce equals 28.41 cubic centimeters. So we are going to have 20 ounces times 1 ounce in the denominator. It is equal to 28.41 cubic centimeters. Cancel the ounce. And then we are going to multiply 20 times 28.41, which is equal to 568.2 cubic centimeters. Now let us have the last one in this conversion. So 0 0.7 ton to kilograms. So we all know that 1 ton equals 1,000 kilograms. So from here, 0 0.7 ton times 1,000 kilograms over 1 ton. So we can cancel the ton and the ton. So what we need to do here is to multiply 0 0.7 times 1,000, which is equal to 7,000 kilograms. Now let us have another set. Change the following volumes to liters. So if we have a volume of 5,000 cubic centimeters, what is it in liters? So we all know that 1 liter equals 1,000 cubic centimeters. From here, we are going to convert. So 5,000 cubic centimeters times 1 liter over 1,000 cubic centimeters. We can cancel cubic centimeters. Then we are going to divide 5,000 divided by 1,000. You can cancel the three zeros. So what's left is 5. So 5,000 cubic centimeters equals 5 liters. 
Now, let us have 18,000 cubic centimeters to liters. So, 1 liter is equal to 1,000 cubic centimeters. And from here, we are going to multiply it by 1 liter over 1,000 cubic centimeters. Then, we are going to cancel cubic centimeters. Then divide 18,000 divided by 1,000, it is equal to 18. So therefore, 18,000 cubic centimeters equals 18 liters. Now let us have another set. Change the following volumes to cubic centimeters. So let us convert 2,800 milliliters to cubic centimeters. Take note, 1 cubic centimeter equals 1 milliliter. So therefore, whatever the value of your ml, it is the value of your cubic centimeter. So from here, 2,800 ml equals 2,800 cubic centimeters. Now let us have another one, a volume of 3 liters. So 1 liter equals 1,000 cubic centimeters. So, 3 liters times 1,000 cubic centimeters over 1 liter. Then, cancel liter and liter. So, you just need to multiply. So, it is equal to 3,000 cubic centimeters. Or, if you want to have in ml, then it is 3,000 ml. Now, let us have this fourth example if one liter of petrol costs 26.49 baht find the cost of 10 gallons of petrol the first step that we are going to do here is to convert gallons into liter so 10 gallons times 1 liter over 0 0.22 gallon then cancel gallon and gallon so all we need to do here is to divide 10 divided by 0 0.22 which is equal to 45.45 liters now that we have liters already, we can multiply it by the cost. So 45.45 liters times 26.49 baht over 1 liter because it is the cost of 1 liter of petrol. Cancel liter and liter. So we have 1,203.97 baht. Now let us have another one. A water tank measures 2.6 meters by 1.5 meters by 0 0.8 meters internally. Find in liters half of its capacity. The first step that we are going to do here is to determine the volume of the water tank. We shall multiply the dimensions 2.6 times 1.5 times 0 0.8, which is equal to 3.12 cubic meters. And then the next one, we are going to convert cubic meters into liters. So we all know that 1,000 liters equals 1 cubic meters. So 3.12 cubic meters times 1,000 liters over 1 cubic meter. Then we, get, we are going to cancel cubic meter and cubic meter. So all we need to do is to multiply 3.12 times 1,000, which is equal to 3,120 liters. From here, it is not yet the final answer because it says there half of its capacity. So all we need to do here is to divide 3,120 by 2. So the volume of the water tank, which is half of its capacity, is equal to 1,560 liters. Now, let us have another one. A shoe box measures 28 centimeters by 20 centimeters by 12 centimeters. How many cubes of 2 centimeters sides can be put into it? The first step that we are going to do is to determine the volume of the shoe box. So, Multiply every dimensions that you have. So 28 times 20 times 12, which is equal to 6,720 cubic centimeters. And then the next step is to determine the volume of the cube, which is equal to 2 centimeter times 2 centimeter times 2 centimeter, or in short, s to the third power. So 2 to the third, which is equal to 8. So 8 cubic centimeters. Then the third step, we are going to divide 6,720 divided by 8, which is equal to 840. So the number of cubes that can be placed in the shoebox is 840 cubes.
Now let us have the last one. A swimming pool contains 228 cubic meters of water. If its length is 20 meter, its breadth is 9.5 meters. What is the depth of the water? So let us analyze some words. The other term for this one is width and depth is for the height. So in here, we are going to determine the height. So we all know that the volume of our rectangular prism, so the volume of the swimming pool, is equal to length times width times height. Substituting all the values that we have, the volume of the swimming pool is 228 cubic meters. We have the length 20 meters and the breadth or width which is equal to 9.5. And we're solving for H. Dividing both sides by 20 meters times 9.5 meters so that we can cancel. So H is equal to 228 divided by the product of 20 and 9.5. So, the height of the swimming pool is equal to 1.2 meters. So, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. See you again next time. Bye!